Hi there YouTube and welcome to my lesson, or well, my second lesson on standard form. And in this lesson I'll be teaching you how to add and subtract standard form without using a calculator. Uh, for obvious reasons, because in your exam, most likely these questions will not involve a calculator. You'll be forbidden from using them. So anyway, it's quite similar technique to the previous video on uh, multiplying and dividing. However, there is an extra step involved. So essentially what you have to do, so you see the to the power of, you have to make these to the power ofs the same. And to do this, you just shift the 3, well the, this number, to the right, and this will increase the power of, or you'll shift it to the left, which will increase it, sorry, decrease it. Because imagine that you're pulling a string, so you're pulling this way, so this one has to reduce, or if you're pushing that way, this one has to reduce up, increase upwards. Because remember, so you say I did to the power of, 3 to the power, I'll just prove why, if I move this, if I move this upwards to 8, this will be reduced to, this 3 will be reduced to 0 0.3. So here I'm going to draw to the power of 3. See we have 3, then we have 7 following zeros. And if I want to get 8 following zeros, so 8 to the power of, if I shift this down 1 to 3, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, we only have Just check I got it the right way. So if I move it to the if I move it downwards one then the seventh zero Alright, put it this way. So I have zero point three and I have eight to the power of so I have zero point three zero I just draw lots of zeros. And I moved this decimal point seven place, sorry eight places down because it's zero point three. So one, two, yeah, one, two, three. Sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So how many zeros have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we're back to our normal original here, seven. So this is not how to work it out, but it's just proof that as we move this to the right, this has to increase to the eighth. So we're back to our thing. What we are going to do is make this to the power of eight. So it's going to be zero point three times ten to the power of eight. And then we'll just remove this from the brackets. Ten to the power of eight. And then we will simply add these two numbers. So we'll add 4 and 0 0.3 to form 4.3 and then these will stay the same, so 4.3 to the power of 8 and that's the correct answer and then for subtraction we do exactly the same method except we take away, so previously I will split them up so Adding is this row here, and then subtraction. This row here, so exactly the same. So we just cross this out for a takeaway. So four takeaway zero point three is three point seven times ten to the power of eight. Because it's not multiplying, the powers will not change. Because imagine you are adding ten. They don't change because because of this. I'll do an example. So you're adding ten and eleven. So, no, say you're adding ten and ten. The actual number of noughts don't change. You still have one naught. You have you have a two at the start. You have twenty, so you have two zero. But the number of following zeros do not change. However, if you do the multiplying method, where the powers do change, if you don't know what I'm talking about, just Forget I'm saying this. 
because you would have to have watched the previous video because if you multiply 10 and 10 you get 100 you get 1 followed by 2 zeros the, the power of will add so remember when you're adding and subtracting not to change the power of just remember you have to make the power of the same and then you can just add and take away like normal the first bit of the uh, question but anyway, I hope this video helps increase your understanding of adding and subtracting standard form. If it did, please subscribe to my channel and like this video. If it did not, however, could you please send me a message why it did not help you? Because I'd really like some feedback on to how I can improve my videos. So, thanks for watching and have a nice day. Goodbye.